on the live streams while I'm taking trades like this. Or even trades like this. I keep getting asked, Mike, how do you move your stop loss to break even? Do you simply grab the order? Do you have it with an ATM strategy? No, I use none of those methods to actually move it to break even. What I actually use is a hot key. Now, if you look at this keyboard right here, this is the keyboard I use. Now, I have the auto break even button set to G5. You can see it right there on the keyboard. Now, what I normally do is I have my pointer finger sliding right between the G5 and G6. G6 would be the close of position. G5 is the auto break even. Now, once it's at break even, I start trailing my stop up. I'll show you guys how I do that later on in the video. But first, let me show you guys how I go ahead and set up the hotkey for that function. So to set up the hotkeys, there's actually two different things we have to do before we even get into the keyboard function. First, come right over here to where it says tools, then drop down, select options. From options, you wanna come right over here to where it says trading. Now, from trading, you wanna make sure you have it right here where it says use order entry hotkeys. If that box is not selected, then once we set up the hotkeys, it will not work for what we're trying to do. So now I'm gonna close out of that window Next thing we wanna do is come right back over here to tools. From tools, we wanna to select hotkeys. Now from hotkeys, we wanna go right down here to where it says order entry. Select that real quick. And you can see right here where it says my break even position, I already have it set. And then I, the, the close position. Now, if you're wondering how, I, how you actually set that. Now, what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna to go to a different function. I don't wanna mess with my hotkeys, but you would click on the hotkey area that you want. In this case, I'm gonna click simulated order. From there, just hold down two separate keys on your keyboard. For this case, I'm gonna hold down the control button, then I'm gonna hit the zero button. Now you can see it basically, it just programmed that in for the hot key. Now that is the first two steps we have to take. Now for this example, I'm gonna clear that out because I don't want that hot key set. Then once you had that set in there, you simply click apply, click okay, click okay again. Now, since I have a Corsair keyboard, you can see the keyboard right here, actually there's my G6 key. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right on that keyboard and we gotta come in here and assign key. So for this example, I would just hit key assignment. Now, if you have a different keyboard, that's fine. You can you can assign, you can you can assign whatever hotkeys you want. If you're just using a simple control, whatever, F1, whatever you wanna do, it doesn't matter. But for this keyboard, I would then have to go ahead and select the hotkey, which you can see right here. I already have that one programmed, this one programmed, and that one programmed on my G keys. I have the other three essentially left open. Now, once you click on whichever hotkey you want to sign, you go ahead and then you can assign the key. So now we know how to set up the hotkeys. How do I actually trail the market up as I'm in a trade? Well, let's jump over real quick to market replay and actually show you an example in real time. Now, if you trade with prop firms like Apex, My Fund of Futures, or Take Profit Trader, and you want a way to support the channel at no additional cost for yourself, make sure to use the links in the description box down below. All right, now that we're in here in market replay, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit buy the market. Now, once I normally put the order on, what I do then I just simply grab the order up. You might say, Mike, how in the world are you trading? The market is closed. What is playback? Well, playback's a great feature Ninja Trader has where we can trade when the market is closed. However, any money made or lost is not real money. It's basically just a demo account. And now what I'm gonna do from this point on, I'm gonna hit play. Once I see the market where I'm up roughly 70 to $80, I'm gonna hit that G5 hotkey moving the stop loss to break even. And this is what you guys see quite a bit on the live stream. You'll see the stop loss order just snap right into break even. And there we go. I just hit the G5 hotkey, boom, snapped in. Now from this point on, I just simply grab the order and I just keep trailing it up. And you guys see me do this all the time on the live stream. And as we start getting faster and faster on the, on the way up, then I start to get more and more aggressive. In the beginning, I try to give the market a little bit more room to kind of sway around here just a bit. But then once it really starts running, I start getting really aggressive on the on the exit on moving the stop loss to see you know how far can I let the market continue to rally before it dings me out. Now in that case, you can see I was taken out roughly for $185. I didn't give it a whole lot of room. And instead I let the market dictate when I wanna get out. Now, sometimes I give a little bit more liberty than others. And there is another way where if you don't wanna do all of this manually, you know what? You can also do this in what is called Ninja Traders ATM strategies. Now, if you wanna learn how to set up 
these custom ATM strategies within NinjaTrader where it'll do it automatically for you. Make sure to watch this video right here.